So, as part of my transitional ethics and strategic living, there's food here. Um, but I've realized that I do have to play this game and follow certain rules. One of the rules being rules of the road. You know, I gotta pay insurance and shit. Well, I've done this and I've, I'm a really, really, I like, dude, when I don't drink, I am probably the best freaking driver on the road. Um, <laughs> yeah, say ego, whatever. Um, but what happened, somebody rear ended me and like, 110% their fault. There is absolutely no way that uh, any fault could have been found with me, right? So, um, what happened is I got a rental vehicle for a trip, uh, quarter cross country. And so, instead of my uh, 92 Chevy 1500, I don't even know what year this is. It's like a future car, Sirius XM. And oh, jeez, I I've been poor all my life, and so I'm not. I don't know what it's like to be treated like a human. Like like I'm I'm supposed to be scared all the time. <laughs> That's the way my life works. Like I'm I'm constantly in fear that my old truck is going to break. You know, shit happens. So this, I cannot even describe the amount of ease my mind is at, not having to worry about. Just, just moving down the road. It, it's unbelievable. Um, better fuel efficiency. Um, and it's a Ford. Cletus, you, you may think I'm an idiot, but my truck is so upset. Um, I, that, that truck just loves being driven that way, you know? Slow down for a curve and then stomp the gas. Slow down for a curve and then stomp the gas. Um, yeah. But, see, this comfort is really, really, really nice. I totally understand why people do this. Is it worth the damage that's being done? That's really what we gotta ask ourselves. And the way people justify it it's pretty selfish and one-sided there's not two sides to the argument you know they propose a side and there's no counter argument so um it's not worth it this comfort this peace of mind it's nice and i'm going to appreciate it i'm thanking god and everybody like everybody who did their job like the insurance companies who didn't scamming me like <laughs> I'm pretty sure they wanted to and tried at first but like there was no way and <sighs> it's awful that you have to fight for your rights see if I would be like if I hadn't had insurance if I was poor enough if I was one stage lower on the poor scale I would be so fucked right now because someone else didn't follow the rules I was to the T, to a T, like above and beyond. And so it, it, it's completely and totally an unfair system where you have to worship money. You have to have money. And the whore of Babylon, <laughs> she's tight. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm telling you. Oh, I haven't, not, I swear to God. This truck has not been over 80 miles an hour. I've been on the interstate. And mine would have. <laughs> Cletus would have. Cletus would have done it. He'd have done jump at something. <laughs> no need. Oh. Uh, well, anyway, I thank y'all uh, for being here, listening, paying attention. But let's have this discussion. It is not worth it. You're going to hear the other side of this story. This comfort, <laughs> it ain't worth it.